it is estimated that there are 12.4 trillion photos taken throughout history. Damn. A lot of the photos are normal, such as selfies and sky photos. But over these past years, cursed images are becoming more mainstream. Stop putting that image, bro. I told more. I literally texted more, but I was like, bro, find the, you gotta find the blue eye image. He's like, that joint's lost of time. Not even I can find that. I'm like, man, that's really gone. A lot of the time when we look at these cursed photos, we don't really know where they came from. So in today's video, I will be talking about the origins of cursed images. Welcome back to another video. More Before this video starts, huge shout out to these creators because if it wasn't for them, we're gonna skip right into it. But shout out to Morbid. The end. The end. The end. Is this the f back rooms? It is a very yo. In real life, room in the back rooms coming soon. Trust. Popular liminal space image that has been on the internet for many years. It is also known as a false end in the backroom's lore. Oh, okay. This is a photo of a library with an eerie yellow lighting, similar to the infamous backroom's photo. The photo seems to be an abandoned library with a sign saying the end. So where was this photo taken? It was taken inside a Borders bookstore. Borders mm. is a bookstore, music store, and cafe that was around in 1971. And in 2014, all borders went out of business for a handful of reasons. But one big reason speaking was that of, they invested too much money. In speaking of the back rooms, I tell you the time I went to the back rooms. Do y'all remember that? I posted on my story before when I went. Do y'all remember when I went? Nobody? No? Y'all remember when I when I when I when I when I went to this joint? Nobody, nobody remember this? When I went to this joint. You know what I'm saying? Like that's y'all just y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. I was really in the back rooms trapping, running from nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. In music CDs and DVDs, right when everything was becoming digital. So they shut down due to a bad business move. Since all borders shut down in 2014, that means that this photo was taken in 2014 or before that. How do I know that this photo was taken at a borders bookstore? Well, Jaden Salads made a video about finding the locations of famous liminal space images, and he happened to find this information. And plus, looking at other abandoned border stores, they do kind of look like the end photo. Same mm. yellow walls with text on the walls. Plus, the fonts yeah. are very similar with the two. So now we know the origins to this image. But do we know the exact store that this photo was taken? After all, there used to be so many Borders bookstores, and it would be impossible to find the exact location. After all, every Borders bookstore closed down in 2014. Damn. Well, Jaden Salads did it once again by finding the exact- How does this nigga know where these is at? Like, how do you really, really find this exact area? Like, location. After he posted his initial video talking about the end image, he would receive an email saying this. Hello. In your video about liminal space locations, you mentioned that you do not know where the place is located, only that it's a Borders bookstore. A while back, I came across a video or Reddit post or something like that. Apparently, this is a Borders bookstore off of Interstate 5, next to a railway and an outback steakhouse in Orange County, California. It has since been turned into a Sky Zone trampoline park. By using Street View Spots and the Date Changer, you can see the images of the store. It has been theorized that the end is near was a There's joke made up by the staff now. to say that the store's end is near. Jaden would do an investigation on the Borders bookstore from Orange County, California. He would then find a 2011 Yelp page from that exact Borders location. He then found this photo which looks almost identical to the end photo. However, there is a small problem. This is a false lead. Even though both photos Damn. almost look identical, the photo on the Yelp page has red pillars instead of the green and blue pillars we see in the end photo. Jaden would then find a website that shows an all- I look you wanna go here, I ain't gonna lie. No weird shit, something about how it looks, it just cause it looks like this is the story of the back room, just cause of how it looks, Chad, look you wanna go here and just, and just stream here, bro. Y'all think if I stream here, I get packed up? Trying to angle the end photo, but the wall says it's the shut down. end is near. Still about to go. Meaning that this photo predates the other end photo. The website posted this photo on April 6, 2011. But think about it. In real life backroom stream, I get in real life cameras to strap it to my chest and just investigate. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be hard, bro. I ain't gonna hold, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna hold. I'll be, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I ain't gonna lie. In that same post, they credit the image to BuzzFeed, but when you go to the BuzzFeed's website, they source the image back to Reddit. The Reddit link takes you to a Reddit post posted on r slash pics on April 4th, 2011. The Reddit post would say, Found this at my local borders. 
the top comment of that post would say, would that happen to be at the block of orange in California? Which then would get a reply back saying, Yorba Linda, California. So the end photo mm. was taken inside at a Borders I'm surprised in Yorba Linda, California. At. Currently in 2023, that Borders store is now a Sprouts. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I forgot to mention that there's another photo. God damn, this shit look crazy. This shit just look depressing just from the look at it. That, that's tough. Next, the last chapter for one of the country's biggest bookstore chains. For Borders, it is, yes, the end of the story. Why does the motherfucker talk and sound like uh, Donald Trump? My God. In February, the book chain... Level 94. Level 94, motherfucker. This is a, a Sprout show. This is a, a PBS kid show that, that is horribly animated. What's, what's going on here? Level 94. This is a very classic liminal space image and is part of the backrooms lore. Damn, backrooms got everything. However, this image. Well, has, I ain't never make it here in the backrooms. Like, damn, this can join look kind nice. Has been found before the popularity of the backrooms. On April 30th, 2022, somebody posted on Reddit asking for any leads for the image. And the top comment would reply saying that this was made by Gabrielle Traversat. Mm. The top comment would also link their Tumblr page. And if you scroll all the way down, you could find Movie the level 94 it. image. The artist made this image by photoshopping other images together and making them dreamlike. The same artist also made this other infamous liminal space photo of a house with a rainbow, which is mm. such a classic photo. It was already obvious that these weren't photos taken of a real location because they do look fake. Peppa but Pig I low key wish that these places were real because it looks extremely relaxing and. If it was real, would y'all go though? Keep it aside. If it was real. I mean, the area low key looked a little like interesting. You know what I'm saying? Look like some, some cartoons, some shit you see at a cartoon. Yeah, nah, nah, no, no, nah, 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 no, no. I would not. No, 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 no. Hell yeah. It's crazy. I would honestly love to live there. Cursed Teletubbies. Okay, see, fuck. No. I ain't fuck with Teletubbies from day one, bro. As soon as I seen that that sun, bro, and all the Teletubbies, bro, I already knew, like, uh, uh, Teletubbies is, is horrifying, bro. With, even in this image, they're even more horrifying, but just by nature, Teletubbies are horrifying, bro. I'm not even going to cap to you. This is an iconic image that I have seen for many years now. The photo contains a kid on a hospital bed being surrounded by the Teletubbies. However, these don't even look like the Teletubbies at all. It looks more like a custom homemade cosplay of the Teletubbies, but another YouTuber that goes by the name Scare Theater actually shows more images containing the same- Why does the costumes look like that? Yo, the Teletubby ever pull up on me in real life, nigga, I'm suplexing that nigga, bro. I don't even know how to suplex, bro, but I have to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or he won't pack me up costumes. Looking back at the photo, it is clear that this was taken inside of a hospital, mainly because you see a hospital bed and the IV pole. In the background, you also see a poster by Dennis Bergkamp, who's a Dutch football player, making this a photo that was most likely taken in the Netherlands. If you look to the upper right of the image, it seems that this is a photo of another photo. The oldest mm. record of this photo being on the internet dates back to this Reddit post that was uploaded yeah, on December 2nd, nice. 2015 with the caption, as if being sick as a kid wasn't bad enough. The original uploader of the image would say this in the comments. I noticed this on the wall in the children's ward of an English hospital under the heading, celebrities who visited us. Nigga, the Teletubbies are not a fucking celebrity, motherfucker. They, there's a whole walking, talking creepypasta. I found it both hilarious and horrifying. Another hilarious thing is when you look at the comments, you see somebody ask, why does it look so ominous, dark, and gloomy in that morbid comments? You see somebody ask, why does it look so ominous, dark? <laughs> Yo, morbid, what's, 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 what's going on, man? Is when you look at the comments, you see somebody ask, why does it look so ominous, dark, and gloomy in the- We gonna let you have that one, bro. It happened to me all the time, bro. It happened to me all the time, bro. It, only ominous I know is prom, my nigga. I, I, ain't, I ain't even know, bro. That room. And then the original uploader replies back with, It's a British hospital. I don't know why, but that's just funny to me. Scary Theater even got into contact with the Mel, original- Mel, yo, get off my dick. 
Nigga, like, hot damn, bro. Flutter and states that the original photo, the photo of the picture he took, is probably over 25 years old. At least we know some of the origins of this photo and even the location of this photo. But a question that I really want to get answered is who is the kid in the photo and who are the people in the Teletubbies costumes? That's one what question that costumes? won't be solved anytime soon. Okay. Birthday party room. Yeah, why all this is always in like 44p, bro? By the way, probably some Chuck E. Cheese. It's probably Chuck E. Cheese's. Nah, this, this, look at this. It says jump, fun zone, something. I ain't gonna lie, fake ass Chuck E. Cheese. I ain't gonna hold you. I'll be mad too. If I was here, I'd be mad too that I ain't at Chuck E. Cheese. It's some fake ass Chuck E. Cheese shit. Every time I look at this photo, I feel very nostalgic. This is also one of the very few liminal space images that feels like I've been in before. No joke, when I watched the Dora movie and went to the movie Walk theater, they had a party room that looks almost identical to this image. That's besides the point. Well, finding the origins to this photo isn't that hard since the answer is literally in the photo. If you look at the wall, there's a banner reading Jumping Jack's Fun Zone. Jumping and by Jacks. Google searching Jumping Jack's Fun Zone, you can see that this is a real fun zone located at Fort Myers, Florida. You can mm, even find the original Florida. photo by going through their photos. Something very interesting that I found out was that the photo they originally uploaded was in HD instead of the grainy one that most of us have seen. That's why my folks was terrified of it because that joint was like taken on a fucking keyboard 1983 <laughs> 3 a.m what you doing you can see this motherfucker right now just right next to you, you got sleep paralysis you can't move 3 a.m you just look to your right you can see this motherfucker what you doing yeah jesus christ that was that jump scare yeah that was a hell of a jump scare i ain't gonna lose you bro that's tough bro thanks right now i can't sleep a clown from a 19 y'all can't hold on a clown from a 1983 birthday party. I'm not going to lose you. If my parents paid for this clown to go to my birthday party, I will run away from home, simply. Three clown. This photo has surfaced the web for many years now with the caption, a clown from a 1983 birthday party. However, this photo isn't a real person and it's uh, okay. not even from a 1983 birthday party. This is instead an animatronic similar to those fortune teller uh, machines. These motherfuckers, isn't this the, the, the bitch ass name from Flapjack? Y'all still be creepy though, I ain't gonna lie. Virtual Carbon made a video briefly mentioning the origins of the photo, but I wanted more answers. That's so I DM Virtual Carbon on Instagram, and to my surprise, he found more information on the photo and found more photos of the same clown animatronic that wasn't mentioned in his initial video. The creepy clown animatronic was created by Aaron Fetcher as a mall kiosk greeter slash info booth for an IAAPA convention in 1983 where he greeted visitors. Mm. Not much is known about the show tapes he ran off bro. of, but he has about six movements. Your Rye smash dropped a new Echo Fighter. Look at DMs. Pre scary Rye. Pre scary Rye. Pre scary Rye. Pre scary Rye. Let me see. I should expect that. He is dressed in a bright colorful clown outfit and wig, which was designed and showcased by Creative Engineering's costume department. He sits in a booth that slightly resembles a carousel Girl's with four white hell. bars and a color. Yo, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not getting in, in a four mile radius of this motherfucker, bro. I don't need no Finance and Freddy's incident taking place, bro. Colorful circular top on top of a large mod, colorful yeah. wooden platform as the figure has no legs. The white bars on top of the booth still exist today, but have been dismantled for storage. His scary appearance has resulted in his me? fame on the internet, and he currently resides in a basement of creative engineering. The actual name of the clown is currently unknown. It is currently unknown what he was originally supposed to sound like, as his show tape contains no audio. The blackbird Dog, if- Look at this bird! Uh, damn was good, bro. I'm not gonna just bird let's crack the fuck out. You have to be a different type of creepy ass motherfucker to make an animatronic like this, bro. Live action buggies getting wild. Sitting on his platform was originally part of the Wizard of Oz show. 
Footage of the clown at an IAAPA convention surfaced in 2021. However, the clown was not activated and could only be seen from a distance. Mm. Damn. School hallway. This is a popular liminal space. Motherfucker, this is like every school in New York ever to ever exist. This is like every New York school on a good day. It's like every, this is like every school in New York ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing to see here. It's nothing to see here. I'm looking Mr. Scare right into Smash. Please don't. I never want to see that. His photo and is one of my personal favorites. For some reason, I felt like I've dreamt about this image before, and my old high school had a very similar hallway to this one. I always wondered if this image was real or fake, but it turns out that this image is actually real. A Reddit comment- I mean, wait, hold on. Why wouldn't it be? Because they got multiple exits and, and shit like that. I mean, this photo does look a little, like, ominous type of shit, but I mean, why wouldn't it be? And my old high school had a very similar hallway to this image is actually real. A Reddit comment said that yeah, this is a photo you. of the Hillside Intermediate School. I was close. I was close. New Jersey, New York, I was close. That's all that matters. I was close, chat. I was close. I was close, man. Well, in Bridgewater, New Jersey. However, the Redditor didn't provide any evidence, but luckily Jaden Salads did his own investigation to confirm it's 100% nice true. In the hallway photo, you do see grass, a curb, the concrete floor, and a dumpster. When you go on Google Maps, you can do an aerial view where you can see the grass, the curb, concrete floor, and even the dumpster. However, the dumpster is in a different location, but that makes sense because when they dump the trash, they don't normally put it in the same exact precise location. Mm. If you need some more proof that this is the same location as the infamous hallway, just take a look at the brick wall and on the roof, you see a metal lining. Well, if you- I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's definitely it. But so many schools look like this nowadays, chat. I don't even be surprised no more. Go on YouTube and search up the school. You can see that the school's walls oh, from the yeah, outside okay. are made with bricks and have that same metal lining. So I can confirm that the original photo was taken at the Hillside Intermediate School in New Jersey. Big shout out to Jaden Salad since he Wait was in. the one to confirm the location. Level 37. Okay, level 37, yo, the back rooms. What's going on, man? Why y'all got so many fucking levels, bro? So many uh, achievements, max prestiges, uh, max prestige achievements and shit like that, different levels, bro, that you make. How many levels you got? How long's the game, my nigga? When we get to when we get the post game, we ain't even got the post game yet, bro. I know this is some backroom shit. Level thirty seven, also known as sub. I would if I survived in the backrooms at all, I would literally die when I came to this level in GTA. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not gonna lose. I would just pass out of shock as soon as I went to this room. Limity is a level in the back rooms showing these very unusual pool rooms. These are very iconic liminal space images and to be honest I would love to visit this place in the summer because it looks very refreshing. But sadly these places aren't real. These photos were made by an artist named Jared Pike who is known for making these type of pool liminal space images. Have you seen this man in your dreams? Yo I remember this whole story. I remember this whole story. Yeah, I'm aware that I, I ain't see that bitch ass nigga. Used to look like I'm in my old. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> Yo. I'm not gonna lie, boy. You did look like this nigga, bro. I'm not gonna hold you videos because i have gotten I have seen that of man comments saying that <laughs> but it is now time for me to talk about the origins of this no, photo the photo known as this man is a person who allegedly appeared in thousands of people's dreams since 2006 but has never been identified in the real world the website claimed that the first person who reported dreaming about this man was a patient of a psychiatrist in New York City in 2006, and that four other patients of the same had also recognized the same face. The website also claimed that more than 3,000 people had contacted the site to share their stories and drawings of this man. The website offered various possible explanations Big for the caveat. phenomenon, ranging from the mundane or supernatural. However, this is fake, and that nobody has ever dreamt about this man. 
The photo I mean, was created. I hope nobody dreamed about that ugly ass nigga. He looked like he was on the, the cusp of a midlife crisis. By a marketing strategist named Andrea Natala. And he simply photoshopped the images and made a fake story behind it, as well as a fake website, so he can post a fake story on it. He made this just for the fake story to go viral. Something awesome about this story is that Andrea got offered a real marketing job after his mm. publicity stunt. So congrats to him. Jimmy. Jimmy is the what main the protagonist fuck? villain of the creepypasta liar. Twitch, this is a whole creepypasta. It's not a real thing, but holy, that is actually very, very creepy. I'm not gonna hold you. That's insanely creepy. He was a high school student who loved to make crude and unfunny jokes, which caused the bullies to throw that acid on his like face and get burned. However, he begins to lose his sanity not and to plans it. to get revenge on the bullies by murdering them. This is basically a knockoff story of Jeff the Killer. So what are the origins of this image? Well, this photo actually came from a rock band called Liars, and they made a music video on May 22nd, 2006 titled, I'm a, I'm We Fenced Other case. Guardians With The Bones Of Our Own, which in the music video, you see Jimmy. By looking at the creepypasta photo, it does seem to be somewhat edited, so they just screenshotted the music video and edited the photo briefly. Okay, so it's not real, it's edited. What? The, the Krusty Krab? God damn. I ain't know he was really doing it. I'm not gonna hoot you. I look, he got pull up. I've always wanted a Krabby Patty it, like my entire life. Yo, we going, chat? Yo, we have to go. <laughs> Yo, we have to go. Krusty Krab during COVID? I'm pretty sure there's a real Krusty Krab somewhere. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, there's an actual restaurant that is based off the Krusty Krab somewhere, somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I remember something about that. Real life Krusty Krab. It is? This is another favorite go, liminal space image of mine because it's the Krusty Krab and who doesn't love SpongeBob? This image looks extremely dreamlike and eerie. It kind of looks uncanny in a way because you're so used to seeing the Krusty Krab animated, but when you see in real life, it doesn't feel right. You may think that this- This joint look, looks- Animated, is that a real photo? When you see in real life, joint looks 3D. I'm not gonna hold you. This probably this might be a real photo, but this joint looks 3D. I'm not gonna hold you, but it's probably because the quality is so terrible. If it doesn't feel right, you may think that this is a Photoshop photo. After all, if this was a real Krusty Krab, so many people would have known about this already. But this is actually a real so photo. Crazy, a real bro. Krusty Krab restaurant was opened yeah. somewhere between 2014, Where? located in the Palestinian town known as Ramallah. There are oh other my God, pull up those joints. photos and videos of the exact restaurant proving that this was indeed a real place. Sadly, in 2019, the Damn. restaurant had to shut down for unknown reasons, but it's most likely due to copyright because I uh... doubt that Nickelodeon... Yo, gave... Nickelodeon, stop fucking hating, my nigga. Yo, bring one to the States, bro. We're going to be lit in there. Trust. The rights to the Krusty Krab. Dick the Birthday Boy. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Boys! Oh, this photo is so crazy on so many levels. Play the sound. Bruh. Right. I wasn't planning on adding this photo to this video just because I don't find this image creepy, but when you Google cursed images on Google, it's literally the first result. So I have to talk about the origins of this image. In the photo, you see the birthday boy named Dick standing in front of his birthday cake with this mascot creature to his right. The reason why I didn't find this image creepy the first time I looked at it was because I already had some context behind the photo. The crying child. And if you have no idea right. who the mascot is, then I understand why some people may think that the image is somewhat creepy. The mascot's name is Billy Bob, a member of the Rocket Fire Explosion located mm. at Showbiz Pizza. Showbiz Pizza was an Showbiz Pizza. American Family Entertainment Center and restaurant pizza chain founded in 1980 by Robert L. 1980. Mm, we won't add no sevens on there because we might get low, you know what I'm saying? Like Brock and Creative Engineering. It emerged after the separation between Brock and the owners of the Chuck E. Cheese franchise. All showbiz pizza locations closed down in 1992. You mm. probably have been inside. And then probably like 
20 years later they opened like a a, a Friday tra- attraction like a haunted house type of track my bad my bad huh? I'm getting all track a showbiz piece of location before without you even realizing it. Because in the 90s, all showbiz pizza locations became Chuck E. Cheese's. In fact, mm. the showbiz animatronics were all reskinned to now be the Chuck E. Cheese characters. Chica. So next time when you're at Chuck E. Cheese and see the animatronics, just remember that those used to be showbiz pizza characters before they became the Chuck E. Cheese characters. Mm. So now you know the context behind this image. It was just some kid's birthday party at Showbiz Pizza, that is, and they just took a photo of the birthday boy. That is a crazy, crazy shirt, bro. That is that that shirt is so fucking insane. I don't know how their parents didn't realize. But what if I told you that there's more lore to this image? Wait, really? And it's a very funny one. So I have identified the boy in the photo to be Richard Evans, who is mm. part of the group called- My uh, name is Richard. Y'all couldn't have been like Richard's the birthday boy y'all really had. To. I know Richard is, you can call Richard like dick, but like y'all couldn't have like, nobody thought of phrasing bro at all. Red Letter Media. Red Letter Media is a group of movie reviewers and independent filmmakers that run a YouTube channel. For one of their Halloween specials in 2013, they show off the original Polaroid. Bro, there's no way as a grown man. For one of their Halloween no specials There's no way as a grown man you're still wearing this shirt. Take that shit off, bro. Like, you have to know the repercussions of that shirt at this point in time, bro. <laughs> Take a They show off the original Polaroid photo of Dick the Birthday Boy and gave it to Rich as a little prank since he hasn't <laughs> seen that photo in over 15 years. Yeah, I'm being childish, my bad. This was also the first time that the photo of Dick the Birthday Boy would surface on the internet. And this was his reaction to the prank. Jay, what's going on? Uh, well, in addition to us shooting this episode uh, around Halloween time, today is also Rich Evans' birthday. And uh, recently, Mike discovered this old photo from Rich's birthday. And so we, uh, as a present, we have painstakingly uh, recreated this lovely shirt that he's wearing, and we're, we're gonna give it to him as a, a birthday slash Halloween episode gift. Figured you might not wear a Halloween costume today, so we got one for you, and you just might recognize it. <laughs> Do you remember it? A, a dick the birthday From a very shirt. special day when you were five, or three, or something? What the f- Imagine somebody just hand you a, a photo of you in a miscellaneous shirt with a fucking animatronic from like three decades ago. Why, why do you have this? Why do you have that? Happy birthday, Dick the birthday boy. That is crazy, bro. <laughs> Imagine you, you walk in the wrong part of Atlanta, my nigga, with that shirt on, you're cooked. Imagine, chat, you go to the wrong part of Atlanta with that shirt on, bro. If you go to the wrong part of the ACL with that shirt, you're cooked. Like, steal my old family <laughs> photographs? Is there like an album of mine in your possession? This is creepy. The following year, some people would post this image all over the web without context that it made the photo so popular that it was even featured on The Ellen Show. Rich would even do an interview with his friend, who is also a member of Red Letter Media. Dick the birthday boy photo. As seen right here. I, I I understand there are people out there who don't believe that's actually me. This this meme has gotten out of our control. It's 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 grown its own legs. It's ran away. We have no control over it. First of all, it is you in the picture. Give me six What's hours. Give me six hours. Photo, Rich. Why don't you start? I, I mean, the story is I was a small child, and I was given that shirt to wear on my birthday. <laughs> that's the story. His parents sent him up. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I, Who made I, the shirt? I, I was actually curious about this. So I, I went to visit my uncle. I, he, it was just my grandmother's idea to get a shirt that says Dick the Birthday Boy. And she was completely oblivious to any alternate meeting. So <laughs> how do, are you all oblivious to any alternate meeting, bro? Uh, alternate meeting. It, like, you, that's the... <laughs> that just sounds that's crazy. That's your shirt, and you wore that shirt on your sixth birthday? I don't. But you look about I could six. Be, I could be six. Five, maybe. You went to Showbiz Pizza, wore the shirt. Showbiz Pizzas are gone. Um, uh, they, they were in Chicago, Chicagoland area. Rich, 
is tearing up his grandmother's very gaudy home to uh, to get rid of, to sell it. Because yeah. uh, you weren't going to live there anymore. Nanu was in a grave. And I had taken the, those photos, those family photos. I think I just tossed them in the damn trash. You did. You did. And like a filthy garbage picker, <laughs> you came along and snatched them up. You're, that you're, is you're, crazy. You're, you're, you are. Nigga, that photo should be lost to fucking history, bro. Stop asking me to make it 12 hours. I'm, I wouldn't make it 12 hours even if y'all niggas paid me to make it 12 hours. So fucking go to sleep. I'm a garbage picker, and I saw those pictures on top of a pile of trash in a garbage can, and I thought, why is he throwing away family photos? I looked at them, and I instantly recognized... Emo only, because y'all gonna piss me off. Funniest, <laughs> ...is you post next to the showbiz pizza bear. My real reaction was, why is Rich throwing away pictures? Uh, and then I thought, well, this one's pretty funny. <laughs> and I, then I put it, because I thought it was funny, and I put them in my pocket. That is a funny answer, And I though. kept them. So basically, when Rich was cleaning out his grandmother's house, he threw away so many childhood photos, and then Mike would see him throw away his childhood photos, so he went to the trash can to pick those photos a up creepy. and gave them creepy. to Rich 15 years later. Who knew that this photo had so much lore to it? Blue Rise... Take it out of Emo Oli. Take it out. Take it. Yo, there's no. I didn't think he actually put this shit in the. Yo! There's no way he actually. Yo! There's no way. Yo, Morbid, let me know. Let me know. Let me. Let me find out you found some. Yo. <laughs> Hold on. I got a DM. Or I got a DM with them. Yo. Oh my fucking God, bro. Yo, why am I live right now watching a morbid video? I'm live at almost 3 a.m. watching a morbid video. And then I just see this shit. Bro. What the fuck, bro? Right now. Yo. God damn. Okay, we gonna get some. We'll see what more. <laughs> Yo, W Biz, W Biz. Okay, let's see what more we're talking about. Let's see what more we're talking about. Chat lock in. Chat lock in. Let's see what more we're talking about. See what more we're talking about. That this photo had so Yo, much lore to I it. never ever thought it like this nigga would actually put it in the video. Wait. Blue Rye Scary Face. Okay, this is more of a joke entry. So on Instagram, I teased that I was making this video and Blue Rye, who's a Twitch streamer, replied to my story with this photo. This is a photo of Rye staring into the camera with an emotionless face staring into your soul, standing in front of a very dark, ominous background. If you didn't know, Rye uses that face as an emote for his Twitch chat. Can I take that emote away? Would y'all be mad if I took that emo like away, bro? Would y'all be would y'all be mad if I if I took that emo away? Yes, 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 yes. Very bad, very bad, very bad, very bad. Yes, yes, yes. Very. This was more of a joke, but when Rai sent me the photo, I stared at it for a few seconds, and not gonna lie, the photo is pretty creepy. <laughs> Like, why is he standing in a very dark hallway, smiling, <laughs> like if he's from the Smile movie? So I asked Rai, what are the origins to this photo? After all, it's him in the photo. And this is a screenshot from one of his older live streams from over a year ago, playing Poppy Playtime 2. A lot of his viewers claim that this is the original photo. However, that is incorrect. Bro, I'm telling you, he knows. I didn't even tell him that. Okay, okay, you got it. He knows, I didn't even tell him that. He said that this is the original photo, but it's not like, that, I'm telling y'all that photo is actually like, that, that happened during stream. Like, that photo happened during stream. Twitch, just allow us to go back. If Twitch ever, yo, if Twitch ever allows us to go back from VODs from, like, years ago, I'm telling y'all we'll, we'll find it. Yeah. A lot of his viewers claim that this is the original. Yo, he did his research. I literally did not tell him this. A photo, however, that is incorrect. Because the scary Blu-ray image is not edited, and is instead a screenshot from an old live stream. It's facts. First of all, if you had, you know, 
Zeno. This nigga did his research. What the fuck? First one who released the photo. If you ask Zeno, he's gonna tell you all he did is screenshot it off of a stream. He screenshotted it. He didn't edit it. Zeno was the first person to release that photo out, right? He screenshotted that photo. Now I want to talk about blurry, the background. Scary, blurry, Where on scary, earth blurry, was he streaming? One scary, oh, blurry, blurry, one scary, blurry, blurry. Thank you for the four months. At. Now I want to talk about the background. Where on earth was he streaming at? What backrooms level was this man on? Well, <laughs> on Instagram, he told me that this was at his dorm. I didn't bother to ask him which school just so we can get a definitive answer on the background just because L docs. But at least we know what the background is. Yeah. Like I have stated, like this when is I used to stream here, bro, when I used to stream here, the amount of y'all, like, well, there wasn't so many of y'all who are at now. The amount of y'all who would be like, yo, are you, where the fuck are you streaming at? Where are you streaming, bro? Like, where the fuck is you streaming? Like, y'all would see the background, you're like, oh, this nigga streaming in a fucking school. Like, literally, I was. Oh, on Instagram, for this he told me that this was at his door. I is. Like I have stated, this is an old screenshot from an old live stream, but sadly the live stream is now lost media. Twitch mm -hmm. auto deletes VODs in 30 days. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. But sadly the live stream is now lost media. Is. Twitch auto deletes VODs in 30 days, and when Rai posted clips onto his YouTube channel, he sadly didn't include the clip where this photo originated from. That's why I say chat, any funny moment from now on, clip it. I know we're bigger now, we weren't as big now, but any funny moment from the stream, clip that shit, bro, because Twitch will delete the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if another thing happens like this, it won't become lost media. You know what I'm saying? If anything happens, clip it. Peep angry in the chat. I tried doing some digging on my own chat. where I could possibly find the original video since so many people in his community wanted me to find it, but I think it sadly lost media forever. I tried looking at the Wayback Machine Man, and- he was really researching. Yo, imagine if this nigga really found some, bro. Oh, El Twitch was deleting it. I pray, chat, the only way that it will ever get found is if Twitch lets us go back that far. I would pay for Twitch to let me go back uh, all the way back then. And look through May of 2022 because that's when Poppy Playtime 2 came out. But sadly, there isn't anything for that month. I'm not a pro at finding lost media, and I have never found something on my own. And everything I talk about in my videos, I get it from the Lost Media Wiki. Luckily with the success from my Lost Media videos, so many members of the Lost Media community now watch my videos. And to those people watching, I want to challenge you guys if you can find the original video clip on where the- Yeah! <laughs> W man, she get professionals on the case chat. He's getting professionals on the case chat. The whole world looking at that scary right. He's getting professionals on the case. I'm telling y'all chat. He's getting the lost media. The the people who who be found who found that where that fucking uh library was at. I mean, that bookstore is at at the beginning of the video where exactly it was located. He getting them on the uh, on on the on the shit. Yo, imagine somebody can actually find it. Like somebody can, dude, that would be crazy. I'm not gonna lie. What's if you ask? I think the only way someone is going to find it is if uh, Twitch allows us to go go back to the bot. Like this, people watching, I want to challenge you guys if you can find the original video clip on where this photo came from. Yeah. And that is the end <laughs> of where did these. Yo, I love Morbid so much, bro. I was about to hold you. I dead ass wasn't like expecting that. W man, my we gonna be started searching like for the One Piece. You know what I'm saying? Like all the four channels, the redditors, and the uh the people who be li looking for uh lost media and shit, bro. Oh my god, hold on, I'm gonna send a video to Morbid. Um, everybody go in the chat say say W Morbid or something. I'm, I'm gonna send a, I'm gonna send a, I'm gonna send a video from. I literally was not expecting that. Um, let me see. Hold on, I'm gonna record a video. Yo, we're literally live right now. I'm watching this video. I didn't think it was actually gonna put nothing regarding this. You you challenged all the 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 deep the deep web searchers to go find it. Now they might actually find it. <laughs> Look at this. Yo, W Morbid, man. W Morbid, bro. Like that's so fire, bro. W Morbid. Okay. Um.
We still live. I just got a pop up. We still live and everything. We good, chat? We, we still good? Let me see. Let me send this to Morbid. Yeah, we are. Bro, that is so hilarious. I'm Michael. I literally was not expect that call be so 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 off guard bro and gave him to <laughs> blue rise scary this is such a yo this is a i if you asked me in a million years if this photo would have this much lore to it this photo should have never had this much lore like it looks like a wax figure to this day bro like this photo right here lives in infamy it has ruined my digital footprint yet yes but there's so much story, concern, questions, and, and stuff. Like, if y'all put this 10 years in the future and nobody has context to it, I guarantee it'll become, like, a, a creepypasta or something, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, Good video for Morbid, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, amazing, amazing video for Morbid. Okay.